Good morning. We're off to the midsummer motorhome and camper van show today. Lindsay's driving. A bit big. My new Model X. That's the car, my love. Big. That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> you know when you're little and you pretend you're driving a car, like you might be in a box or something, but you've got your arms dead straight and the steering wheel's dead wide and you're like rushing everywhere. That's what this feels like. She's not happy. I'm hungry. I said when we woke up, I was hungry. I woke up hungry today. It's not fair. I never. He said, "Oh, we'll get some breakfast on the way. Oh, that'd be nice." And then I come down and he's eaten half a packet of biscuits, and I, I feel like he's cheated on me. I didn't have half a packet. I had a few biscuits with my tea. You made yourself a cup of tea as well. You didn't make me one. McDonald's breakfast. That's to fuel this up, isn't it, love? Happy wife again. Huh? Angry wife is gone, happy wife's back. Right, now for the show. Thank you. Pop your, uh, the marshals will park your car, they'll scan your ticket, give you a wristband, please pop that on because that allows you to come and go all day. How many times are you going to say that today? All day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank okay. you. Bye. Look whose van I just spotted. Hey, Robin Lynn are here. Lunch sorted, Ty banana leave again. <laughs> it says touch me, so I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> oh yeah, Rich. How are, How are we, first? man? How you doing? <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, I'm wicked. You good? Yeah, I'm Guess good. Guess where we're going? Where are you going? Food. <laughs> Down pub. Yeah, food. Where oh, are you? We're we'll only there anyway. We're going to catch you. Oh, you I'll catch up with you in a minute. Missing. All right. right. Good You're man. Right. You're You're up. Up. What was that? <laughs> you could do this one. It's holidays for the other 50s, but you'd have to leave me at home. Obviously, I'm not over 50 or even near it, but HRU, what does that stand for? Holiday Resort Unity. Unity, okay. We're, we're a holiday park on the north coast of Somerset, south of Western Supermare. Lovely. We're on the third generation of the same family that own the park. Yep. We've got lots of facilities and uh, what we do when the children are at school, we offer these breaks Party. to the over 50s or the more mature person. <laughs> you need to do one for just the mums as well. Yeah. Once the kids but are in school, can we have day trips? Yeah. The thing is, we have lots of facilities on the park and we're, we are a family park. We, we welcome families and children and everybody. You know, we cater for them in a very well, good way, in my opinion. Yeah. But at the same time, when the kids do go to school, we've got brilliant. all these facilities, lots of pitches available. Yeah. So the people that are available are the more mature. And um, that's what we've been doing for the last 30 years. What a great answer. <laughs> you a bit delayed there, Dan. Hey. Happy holidays. Happy holidays and happy birthday. How are you doing, buddy? Thank Good, you very buddy. much. Not at all. Yeah, okay. We saw the van on the way in. Yeah, Everybody's fantastic. got a bigger can with them, mate. <laughs> it's not about the size, Rob. Hello, happy holidays. You hey. Are you going to shake my hand? I am. How are you, Dan? All right? I'm very well. Good you? to see you guys again. <laughs> hey. How's my lady? Oh. Oh. <laughs> You are. How are you doing? Happy birthday! Come here. How are you? Mm. Well, thank nice you. Nice <laughs> Don't want to miss out being in there, Rob. Happy do holidays. You? Happy <laughs> holidays. <laughs> 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 Hey! Happy holidays! And happy birthday! Lindsay, it's not even ten o'clock, and you're drinking <laughs> no, again. No, that's what I'm thinking. Just, just taste it. Oh my goodness! Is that nice? Mm, that's richest really cider lovely. from Somerset. Cider. Yeah, and, and if you come and stay at a holiday resort, you can buy it out of our supermarket. Oh, well, like that's that? a good excuse. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Huh? You're going to be trolleyed by 11, aren't you? I've got a reputation for being <laughs> trolleyed. Thank you, that's lovely. You, you'll like this as well. Does anyone want it then? Going to try some. <laughs> yeah. drunk, it's all unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> He's going back for more. <laughs> I just <do> say. <so. laughs> 
You're missing out, Rob. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, mate. Right, okay, I'm driving. Jeez. Hey. Cheers, everybody. Happy birthday, mate. <laughs> Oh, is it his birthday? It is oh, his birthday. birthday. Oh, man, that's not on the show, so you give him the spiel, and I'm sure he'll be in the back. Well, there you go, Rob. Jawbreak. Will you stop pointing your big finger at me? There's a standoff, look. There's a standoff. He's got a big thing as well. He's got a big furry thing, look. Unbelievable. So this is PP Protect. This is the company. And here's Richard. Hi Steve. This is Dan. Hi, right. Nice to meet you. Let's nice do to meet that. You. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to him He's about. He's been telling me that you put glass around motorhomes and vehicles, which I find quite odd. Ceramic glass. Yeah. So. Um, Does it smash? No. No. Shatterproof. Fully machine polish everything first. Um, just to make sure the surfaces, the paint works correct before we put a coating on. It's a full detail, so we don't just apply a coating onto anything. No. And we won't apply a coating onto anything. But your actual detailing before you do this job. Oh, that's the biggest amount of work. Yeah. So the prep. Does that is include key. getting scratches out of the windows, acrylic windows? Well, we, we do that. We've done You've done that for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So so you do a range of aftercare products for this as well? Yeah, a full range of aftercare. Um, so we do interior cleaners. Um, Clarity glass cleaner, which is also good for acrylic glass. So on a lot of your campers and your caravans, there'll be acrylic windows, safe to use, won't stain or burn anything with on the on the uh, perspex or the acrylics. Um, PTFE polishes, if you wanted to do anything yourself, other than because obviously we offer a protection coating that you could apply yourself, but it's not a ceramic. Um, we don't sell ceramic coatings other than applying them ourselves because it is specialist what we use. It's not just a cheap ceramic that you can buy off the shelf, which can be quite easy to apply, but you can get it wrong at times. Um, shampoos, everything we use here, again, is eco-friendly as well. So environmentally friendly, um, which, which most products these days are. So they're safe to use on all coatings. So Rich, can we offer a discount to our subscribers? Yeah, so on aftercare we can do a 15% discount. Um, we can use RR15, uh, which will give you 15% on our shop. Uh, www.ppprotect.co.uk slash shop. Um, and just put the code in where it says and, and away you go, you'll get 15% discount at the end Excellent. of it. Excellent, thank you, Rich. Welcome. Lynn, it's, it's not even, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, Lynn. And? <laughs> Unbelievable. So judgy. <laughs> Oh. 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 Salted caramel. Southern caramel. Salted. Oh. Oh. Is that the creamy looking one? Or the, the one that's just all on that now. You're driving now, aren't you, love? Go on. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> where's ours? Where's ours? Where's ours? Where's ours? So we saw you at the event two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, do you dismantle these and, and rebuild them every time yes. so it's that easy to transport them yeah uh, we when we deliver and, and install that's all in with the price yeah. uh, these two particular ones were at that show yes. so these two uh, it's, basically it's bolt together structure Brilliant. so uh, the guys bolt that one together it takes about two hours this one's probably about three hours they come down quicker if it's raining it happens even quicker <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> and in the prices, you include the heaters. Is the projector for that one, or is yeah, that this a one is dearer, it's bigger. Uh, you yeah. get the projector, the screen, the three bar stools as well. We still got all the heater and the blinds and all. That. Called old school gin because we're based in an old school house in Staffordshire. Wow. We do gin, whiskey, and rum master classes, and we also do a full gin school, so you can come to us and actually make your own bottle of gin, as well as taste gins from around the world. That sounds very good. All our flavour gins are based on our forty percent London dry and are completely natural. So the lime has only got lime in it, orange, lemon, rhubarb. So where do you want to start? Uh, <laughs> with, yeah, let's just try them, please. All of them. <laughs> line them up. <laughs> line them up, line them up. Yeah. Robert, who's, who's your friend, Rob? Who's my friend? Yeah. Oh, dear, Lynn, you need a shave. <laughs> <laughs> Happy holidays. We have a, a car park, which was the old playground of the schoolhouse. So you can one. come and stay out for one of our gin experiences and stay with us overnight. So all of you get a glass. Oh, get a glass! Going back to the 1800s, gin was drunk alongside whiskey, rum and brandy, yes? Yeah. At 50% strength, okay? So you're all going to try a 50% strength gin now. Okay. So, first of all, I want you to smell it, okay? And I want comments about the smell. Because people talk about botanicals and how things should smell. That smells okay. great. 
That smells like something I can't think. Gin? Like gin. <laughs> That's the end of Mazzy for the day. Let me get oh, it wow. <laughs> Isn't it strong? Yes, but then, wow. and then you wait. And it starts to develop. It's like a whiskey in the sense it goes down, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Yeah. The shock is this red. Lovely, oh, yeah, yeah, but it's amazing. <laughs> That's good. So I'm going to show you firstly something large. For thin slices, make a fist a couple of inches from the start. Remember, there's four blades that work in both directions. You keep your fingers closed. And all you do nice and softly, you don't push very hard, four slices in each direction. Whatever you do, do not use your fingers. Take a fork and stick it through the stalk. Yeah? Watch this. Look nice and gentle this time. Two fingers, that's all it takes. All the way down to the stalk at the end, there's your waist. Watch this. Look. Two ways to do the onion with this blade. Forward and backwards, that's going to give you onion rings. However, because they're layered, if you go from side to side with the onion, you now end up doing finely chopped onions for your cooking instead. To change the blade, very simply, place it flat, give it a squeeze, it pops off. To place the blades on, all you do is that. Place it on the pins, okay, and watch this, look. This will impress you. Folks, listen, the secret to a good potato dauphinoise is to get the slices even all the way through. Listen, it doesn't matter what you're slicing, cheese, cold meats, chorizo, salami, that sort of thing. Ginger, leave the roots on. If you want to avoid those horrible fibers, when you grate it, stick it in the freezer and grate it from frozen. Okay? Listen, it is a grater. Hard cheese, soft cheese. It won't do feta cheese, I'm afraid. Listen, last blade's the best blade. This is my favorite. Has anybody ever heard of courgette spaghetti? People went out and bought spiralizers to do this. There it is in seconds, okay? Make a fist. You now get short little julienne sticks instead. Go back to the blade that's in the box. Watch this, look. On the counter, machine in one hand, just shave. There's your coleslaw right there in seconds. Great for stir fries as well, by the way. Um, just a little tip though, rather than using mayonnaise or salad cream, try Greek yogurt and a squeeze of fresh lime juice. Sir. If you do this, just in one direction, four perfect slices in one go. These here retail at 30. At the show today, all you're paying is 20. It comes with a five year guarantee on the, ha on the uh, actual blade. You get your hand guard included at 20 pound. If you like the other three blades, they retail at 10 pound each. I'm doing all three today for just 10 pound. In other words, you're getting a full set today for 30 quid, that's half price. <laughs> I didn't realize you were there. <laughs> I do love a hat. <laughs> Another bag, love? Yes, a little bag. Because if you bring my big bag, you fill it with your stuff. It's got to have lots of pockets. It's got pockets. And it's funny because each year I go up a bag and then down a bag and then up a bag. So it's due to go down, I think. So we've just bumped into Steve, Kath and Zach. And they are Field View Adventures on YouTube. They are, guys. <laughs> Head on over there and give them a like. Yeah. Paul, you value motorhomes here. We do. That's so great. how has that job become over the last 12 months? It's been interesting, no? It's been very interesting, 12 months. We've seen prices slightly going up in particular models. Um, there is a shortage of motorhomes, as people are fully aware of. Uh, but there's also a number of people that are wanting to get out motorhomes. So we feel that we're doing you know, a good service. We're here to buy them, help them out. And uh, yeah, it, 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 I know ours has gone up over the last 12 yeah, months, you know, yeah. so prices definitely, yeah, they're definitely sort of inching up a little bit, and right? They're inching up a little bit, and it's purely down to supply and demand, supply yeah. and demand. And the manufacturers aren't making enough new, and you know, good used vans are demanding good money. So, if you've got a good used quality motor and you're considering it selling it now, is the time rather than. In 12 months time sure where things could get back to real <laughs> and that's and you are motorhome valuation services yeah and we can Sorry. find you i guess yeah yeah you can go on the internet you can find us on there motorhome valuation services.co.uk and just ask for paul or tim fantastic no oh la la bonjour <laughs> ça va <laughs> Oh, très bien, ma chérie. I was talking to you before, yeah, you and he were. was running around the alley. <laughs> yeah, I was chasing him down. <laughs> Show me what you got there, then. Alors, this is Secato does work with no pressure at all. It's working on the ratchet, so the only thing you have to do is press and release. There's a pumping action give you this quality of cut. If you compare it between a normal pair, usually works on the spring system, you really have to use a lot of pressure on it. With this one here, it just few clicks and give you really quality cut on it. Could cut you any kind of food. If you have smaller like this, it will go in one click. And when you have bigger like that, you can do it in 
are the ratchet, but you could also do it in one click. You turn it around once and you do it in one click. The all in aluminium, if you leave it in the garden when it's raining, it's never rust. In the future, the blade could be sharpened and many years later you can replace it. By replacing the blade, you replace the ratchet this spring and you get a new one. Fantastic. Fantastic produit. Voilà. <laughs> and you're, you've got a show special on them, have you? Of course. Special price for a special customer. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's because normally online we sell them for 30 and other shows also. We're here first time to promote this product here. We do it for 20. Fantastic. How cool are they? I mean, they're so good. I had to buy one. So there you go. Eden Garden Equipments. Check them out. Hey, sun's out. <laughs> Guns out. So we've just gone back to the van car. We ah. van. We went back to the car, dropped some bags off, dropped the hoodie off, get the shades. And we're heading back in the show, which is quietening down. It's the same as the last show, isn't it? Hmm. You know, we tip for coming to these shows is probably come in the afternoon. It's much, much quieter. People come in the morning, they do the show, they head home. So it's a bit quieter now. We're head back in and see what we can find. It's the easiest whisk you'll ever use. German made, German technology. All you do is push it up and down. No buttons, no motors, no batteries. Nothing to plug in or break down. They're super strong. The mashed potatoes. I like it with double cream and lots of butter, obviously. This is skim milk, 0.1% fat free. If I can turn this skim milk as thin as water into a thick whipped cream, you would be impressed. Now the whisk is so powerful, it'll turn single cream into double cream. It'll turn this skim milk as thin as water into a thick whipped cream. If you have kids or grandkids, I like McDonald's milkshakes. They're not very healthy. Make your own at home. Add some fruit, a low-fat yogurt, great for milkshakes and smoothies. If you like cappuccinos and lattes, heat up your coffee like normal, pour it straight in, and the cream will come to the surface. Now, seconds ago, this was skim milk. Look at that. Imagine what little your cake mixtures, batter mixtures. Remember, look, that was skim milk. Use the whisk on anything, your diet drinks, protein shakes, eggs for omelettes, scrambled eggs, meringues, pavlovas, for your cake mixtures, your batter mixtures, and for Yorkshire puddings, who needs Aunt Bessie when you've got one of my whisks? The squeeze right in, I'm getting to the good bit now, come on in. Get ready and keep watching, this is my grand finale. It doesn't get any better than this. Whether you buy a whisk today or not, be honest, not bad for a man, is That's it? Impressive. Now we normally sell them for seven hundred and eighty pounds. <laughs> Not really. Everybody seen them on Pix Television and Ida World. On TV, we sell them at twenty pounds with the postage. And if you consider what you've just seen is worth every penny. Today, what you see is what's left. Once you're on the gone, forget twenty pounds. We cut the price in half. Today, they're just ten pounds. Keeps you cool of the night. We had an orthopedic nurse on the stand. She went through all my pillows. This one she says the best because it supports you but it's still got movements in it. With like the bamboo ones can be a little bit hard for your neck, you know. Sorry. You've got your Egyptian cotton, which are a nice deep soft pillow. They're gorgeous. Then you've got your iCloud pillow, very, very soft, a thin pillow. Feather pillows, people like feather if you've grown up with the feather ones. Loads of different styles. What was the one you wanted, the Egyptians? The Egyptian ones, I think. Okay, cool. George and I. What's that? There we go. Oh, what's the Handles on the top, nice and easy. You got your pillows, Zola. Got my pillows. And cleverly, because they're in a bag, I've got my whisks in the bag as well. Hands free. <laughs> Go on, do it again. I don't like that <laughs> Not you. <laughs> I've just found a really beautiful camp away little van conversion. Jay is the man behind the actual conversions. How long has your brand Camper Van been, Camper Way been going? Uh, Camper Way been going roughly about eight to nine months. Okay, wow, really new. Yeah, really new. Yeah. Okay. What made you get into Camper Conversions? Uh, so basically, it was just it was it was career choice. Basically, um, ten years ago, I had the opportunity to go and work at a company. What did them? Um, I've always been in the woodwork kind of trade yeah. uh, and I just it just kind of fell hand in hand with me uh, I worked for two two companies uh, and then 12 months ago decided why not go on my own so now we've got eight lads working for us and we're trying to build between three four well four or five and a week really wow. so I, I started my company which does the camp away conversion during the pandemic right. um, and 
luckily the pandemic obviously ignited the fire back in the industry and here we are today but i've been i've been around these vans for 10 years and there's never been a dull period they just sell uh, and, and obviously we try to put as much love and care into them to make them the best they can be can you talk us through this one that you've done yeah it's so beautiful thank you so this one is the vista model vista because obviously you can see through all four windows yeah um it has wireless usb chargers 240 plug sockets microwave propex gas heater electric bed um, the layouts obviously when you build one of these vans it's integral to have as much storage as you can so the, the whole base of the van is how much cubby room can you get because you'd be shocked how much stuff people can get in these vans yeah. <laughs> So guys, I've come across the Mink Sports Camper. Um, check this out. Go on, Linz. Oh, no, because I'm going to embarrass myself getting in. Uh, there you go. I mean, there you go. There you've got a lot more space than you thought. It's really big. So we're, we're with Kim. Hello. Um, Broad Lane Leisure. Yes, it is. Tell us about the Mink. So the Mink, as you can tell, is rather unique. Um, it's a teardrop camper. Um, it's quite unique in the sense of if you don't have a, uh, like a towing license, things like that, then this will probably be the vehicle for yourself. Um, lightweight, um, so most cars, especially your electric cars now, they can start towing this, which is the, the kind of the beauty of it, shall we say. Um, it's mainly really a sleeping pod, which you'll probably, you can see, yeah. um, with the, the unique um, panoramic view of it as well, so that's quite a quite a beautiful uh, unique thing for it and you've got the bunk bed which can be as a storage or you've got a small child you can pop them in there there's a well. bunk bed in there, there is indeed <laughs> so if you want to have a little tech take a look and then have a little look. That, I was shocked but yes absolutely <laughs> that's the bunk so bed up there the bunk bed, but at the moment we've got it as storage yeah sure yeah wow but, um, yeah, okay. so every little house isn't it that is cool how is it love good it's very cool we get one to tow behind the Tesla. <laughs> we could, if we towed it behind the motorhome, could we put one of the kids in it? So That's it's a, a good less, idea. Yeah, huh? I'd love it. I think so. You can kit them out. You've got solar panels. You've got Wabasto diesel heating in them as well. So they're not a summer thing. You can use them all year round as well. Show us round the back of it, please. Yes. Kim. So you've got an open kitchen area. So you'll see again. Lots of it is all storage space. So or you've got all your storage sections in here. In this little opening, again, you've got your storage whoop, and we've got your uh, cube gas stove in there as well. Perfect. So connect that to your gas and uh, cook away. Then in here, you've got your 36 litre ice chest. So you can have a little look inside. Fantastic. And all storage at the back here as it well. It is, yeah, all storage. Fantastic. You've got USB points, LED lighting as well. So um, you're not shut out in the dark. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for you're showing us welcome. that. welcome. All right in there, love, you staying in there? Oh well, yeah, I'm just wondering. Oh, it's a blind that goes up, I guess. Oh, blinding. Blinding. Lovely. And this bed's very cool. Isn't it? Tell you're getting out, go on. <laughs> That's not a problem. <laughs> I was waiting for a you've been framed moment. What's that? Is that your built-in bottle opener? <laughs> Allegedly. Oh. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Well, how about that? <laughs> really excited because we've just spotted the Thai that was at the Stratford show and it was so good, so I'm going to have a spring roll and a big drink. I need a drink, Steve. Hey, look, Tash is here. Hi, Tash. Hello. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, and John's over there. Trying to get some pulled pork, but I think they've run out, so he's not happy. No way. Yeah. We're excited for the veggie spring rolls. They're enormous. Like traditional lumpier and you get four of them for a five pounds and the crab claws are good as well and you get five of those for three pound fifty you're hungry i am hungry yes i am let me treat you to some food no you always bloody treat me to food all right he's a feeder i have a feeder well admittedly i haven't actually got any money so i'm oh. gonna have to pay you the money if you get it for me with yours what do you want uh i wanted the duck spring rolls Duck spring rolls it is. Sorry, can we have some duck spring rolls as well? As well. Please? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. You managed there, love? Yeah, I was just 
just thinking I'm very impressed with you. I've got to hold the camera. Grabbing this. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, amazing. Thank you very Thank much. You. I think that one might be. Thank you very much. How is it? It's good. It's a crab claw. We knew that anyway because we had them at the Stratford show, right? We got there, John. A hand pressed beef burger. Oh, it's not the pulled pork. Oh, you run out. Oh. Got it. And Tash has got. Oh, duck spring rolls. Awesome. Right, let's have some food. Lovely to see you, Tash. Yeah. See you later. Good to see you. Bye. See you, John. See you later. Hello, the Redwoods. Hello. Hey. hey. Wow. <laughs> We've been pulled over by the LAPD, haven't we? Uh oh. All the way from home, were you just for the day? Just for the day. Oh, well, I was a chat. Thanks for coming just for the day. Look at this. Home, no, 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 I left the kids at home. Oh. You tow that on the back of your motor home? Yeah, this. Tow bar thing, which comes with the bike, just mm. drops down. There's a clamp on the front, wow. drops onto the back of the, and off it goes. At Fantastic. Slowly. Well, cool. There's no yeah. brakes or anything, but it's no trailers, <laughs> no. Oh, fantastic. So, so that's another show done. It was a good show, eh? Yeah, really good. You were a little bit smaller than the Peterborough show. Um, pretty much the same exhibit as there wasn't it yeah in fact we were talking to the marketing guy um, of the Warner's show and um, he was saying they had to limit the numbers that's why camping has been fully booked I think they only had one and a half thousand camping at the Peterborough show so they had more room but they weren't allowed to have more units so. we have just learned that these events are usually based on a musical theme and there are a lot more events going on in the evenings based on the music and the dancing. That's right. So, <laughs> fingers crossed at some point. Come back to another one and enjoy the evening entertainment because that's where it's at apparently. Not just the daytime show. Now it's time to head back to the car. And head home and see them pesky kids. See you on the next one. <laughs>